Wonderful. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We're just going to hang on here for one more moment. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Peter Weissel. I'm the uh, Player Engagement Director for the Colorado PGA section. Um, we're going to get, uh, we have 31 people so far um, here for the webinar. Ooh, 34 now. So we're going to, like I said, I'm just going to hang on for, for another moment. Let everyone start up. Um, So we, as we uh, have people joining the webinar this afternoon, um, just so you know, um, there will be a Q&A uh, time at the end of the webinar. If you would like to ask questions, uh, the Q&A option is anonymous. So if you'd like to ask anonymous questions, uh, we'll sort through those and answer all of those to the best of our ability uh, towards the end or during the, uh, or during the presentation if it's appropriate. Um, the chat function is not anonymous. So if anybody wants to answer, at, sorry, ask questions uh, while we're on here this afternoon, um, please feel free to do so. Alrighty, fantastic. Uh, we're going to get started. I'm just going to share my screen with everybody, and then we can uh, then we can get going. Alrighty, fantastic. So. Um, thank you again for uh, joining us this afternoon. Um, just as a quick reminder, uh, the Q&A tab, if you want to ask questions anonymously, um, that would be your best bet for this afternoon. Um, we'll do our best either during the presentation or afterwards uh, to get to everybody's questions because um, I know there's a lot that's kind of changed uh, for, the, uh, for the better, but a lot of uh, a lot of people have had questions and thankfully really productive and great questions so far uh, this off season about the new player pathway. Um, so, uh, as I just mentioned, we've introduced a new player pathway here at the Colorado PGA section. Um, this is kind of taking over from what our offerings were in 2022. Um, really the start and the kind of the core of the pathway, but really what allows us to actually provide this fantastic experience to all the families and the junior golfers uh, in uh, within our section boundaries is the staff that we've put together. Um, as My name is uh, Peter Weissel. I'm the player engagement director. Uh, I just started with the section back in November. Uh, my background is in teaching and coaching. Uh, I'm not new to the section, so some of you on the call may recognize my either my name or my face because uh, I was teaching full time. Um, I before moving to Colorado three years ago with my wife, uh, I was a teaching professional uh, in Virginia and worked for uh, the Virginia State Golf Association as well in tournament operations. Um, one of the familiar faces that uh, that you will be seeing out on the at the course this year is Sam Crawford, who's been with the section for the past three years now. She's heading into her fourth season with the Colorado PGA. She's going to be the manager of the Junior Cup Series. Um, that series is the top tier of competition that will be primarily um, high school competitors playing in it. And uh, Sam, as I mentioned, joined the Colorado PGA section three years ago after uh, working for a few years for the Utah PGA section in tournament operations. Another new member to our team is Zach Ken Martin. He's going to be the, is the manager of the Junior Player Series. That's the intermediate tier of our competition here at the Colorado PGA. Uh, he's the former programming director for the first tee at Green Valley Ranch, so he brings a lot of experience 
the junior golf space, um, but as well as in tournament operations, because he would work with the uh, work for the Colorado Golf Foundation, who runs the Colorado State Open. So he had, brings a really nice blend of tournament operations as well as junior golf programming experience to our team. And then the final full-time member of the Colorado PGA Junior Golf staff is Davion Collins. Uh, he's the manager of the Junior Developmental Series or Development Series, rather. Uh, so that is the uh, kind of entry point for the majority of juniors who are uh, trying to get into tournament play. Uh, Davion was a PGA Works Fellow with our section in 2022. So many of you may recognize him from uh, junior golf tournaments as well as drive, chip, and putt, PGA Junior League, and other initiatives that we do support. I'm very excited that uh, Davion joined our staff full time. So now we have a uh, go from, uh, we've really expanded the uh, size and scope of our junior golf department. So, uh, the, the PGA Reach Colorado offers youth opportunities to learn, play, and compete throughout their um, child skill development. Al although our programs foster competition, their primary goals are to grow the game, provide a welcoming and inclusive environment, and encourage friendship, sportsmanship, honesty, and integrity. We aim to utilize golf as a vehicle to instill values such as integrity, honor, and patience. We at the Colorado PGA, as well as all of our um, the members of our PGA members in our section, truly believe that uh, golf is a game for a lifetime and can be a great teaching tool and learning opportunity for junior golfers of any age and every and any ability. Uh, it's, I'm really, really happy and proud to say, as a PGA member, that this is something that the section I, uh, that I belong to does offer and is, is really devoting lots of time and energy and resources to so the next generation of golfers can grow up in an environment that makes them feel welcome and allows them to compete or participate at any level that they see fit or feel uh, or would like to achieve. So our new player pathway really starts off at the tee box. Many of you may notice in this graphic, we start off at the tee, just like we would on a regular golf course. And then we also work our way all the way up the hole to beyond the green. So for the tee, we're, this is where we're really introducing golf to children. They have to learn it somewhere from somebody. We have a couple different focuses as a section. Uh, the first is introducing golf to children in schools. So we're going to be expanding uh, our golf in schools program, where in the past we've gone into schools uh, and taught the classes ourselves and, and partnered with PGA professionals uh, as well to kind of help teach the classes in schools. Only problem with this was that um, once that week or that program was over, we would leave. The equipment would leave, the experience would leave with the equipment. So I'm really excited to say as a section that we're able to uh, secure some grants that would allow us to pilot programs where we can actually um, purchase the equipment for the school, train the gym teachers on how to, um, on how to teach the uh, children, and that way they can make it a continuing part of their curriculum semester after semester, year after year, so kids can really grow up with the game of golf, learning to enjoy the game, and have the opportunity to grow and develop. Another key aspect of the T in getting kids started playing golf is lesson, lessons or instruction with PGA professionals. Uh, we have roughly 825 uh, section members within our boundaries that provide fantastic opportunities at their host facilities or at their home facilities rather, uh, for kids to learn the game, really learn to enjoy the outdoors and the experience of being with other children. Um, if anybody is interested in looking for, uh, trying to find a PGA professional or lesson opportunities for uh, your, your children, then uh, on our junior golf website, so that, uh, that like our Colorado PGA junior golf website, uh, on the home page, there is an opportunity to click on a uh, tab or a, a tile that says uh, find a PGA coach. 
and that's a great resource to find uh, certified coaches in your area that are offering different programs. Um, the, for be, uh, kids who are beginning, PGA golf camps is a great opportunity. Uh, many facilities in Colorado and beyond run PGA go, uh, golf camps. That's a great chance for kids to learn. It's not as long of a commitment as, say, uh, a multi-month junior golf program or some other youth sports where you have to commit to months at a time. Um, every program is structured a little differently, but they're primarily week-long camps. So you can get kids exposed to golf at the course um, and meet other kids their age that are looking to play golf, um, be outside, and, and spend time with passionate PGA members. Once, uh, once kids move beyond the tee and that first introduction to the game, a question we often get is how can, how can we get our, our child involved uh, in some competition, something that's a, 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 an environment that's a little bit more formal than just the standard golf camp or, or one-off uh, private lesson. On a section level, we offer our, this is where Davion's Junior Development Series really comes into play. Um, the uh, development series consists uh, is for six to eighteen year olds, so we're really spanning the entire um, kind of realm of junior golf ages. Uh, we really do believe that golf is not a game that you have to start playing when you're young, young to enjoy for a lifetime. So we want to make sure we have opportunities for kid junior golfers of just about any age to get out into the course in a more formal environment, play in a little bit of competition and meet other kids uh, that they would be interested in playing with. The Junior Development Series consists of three levels of play. Uh, in level one, kids are gonna be playing three or six holes. This is meant to be an introduction to the rules and to competitive play. Um, with the, these kids are not going to be um, they're not going to be kind of like really grinding it out as much as they will be introduced to the kind of formalities of golf, which are, uh, if you haven't been around it, quite uh, detail. Whose turn is it to hit? Uh, is it to hit next? How do we get it, make our way around a golf course? Things of that nature. Uh, for kids who either graduate out of level one or uh, receive a recommendation from a PGA or LPGA coach to skip level one, there's going to be our level two, which is uh, all nine hole events. Yardages get start to get a little longer. They this level two starts to be roughly two thousand yards. Um, as many of you uh, may know already, um, it's we can't say there's a standardized yardage because we go to different golf courses with different obstacles. So everything is we try to kind of provide a range. Once. Uh, Level two is really a great place for kids to start playing nine holes. Things, while still a learning environment, start to become a little bit more formalized. Um, and once kids start shooting low enough scores, showing the, um, our section staff that they are ready to take that next step, uh, we do have level three, which still is still nine hole competition, but the tees are moved back a little bit, uh, a little bit further. Um, the course setups become a, a little bit more challenging and it provides that next level of competition, particularly for kind of your eight, nine and 10 year olds who are um, on kind of on track or on the trajectory to eventually be playing in 18 hole events. We do still have rules in place uh, that are meant to really make the events more uh, fun and approachable. There is a uh, stroke limit, which is double par plus one for uh, the junior development series. What that means is you take the par, whatever the par of the hole is, let's say for instance, uh, you're playing on a par four, double that par, so that's eight, and then you add a stroke. This allows the junior golfers uh, to not get bogged down on any single hole and allow them to pick up, continue the group continue on, uh, and the flow of the rounds um, keep continuing to move forward. Um, all juniors 10 and under must start in the junior development series. Um, there is an opportunity though to apply for 
an exemption into the uh, junior player series, which we'll get to um, here in a couple of minutes. Uh, that's those are our 18 hole events. The, there's a link on our website under the junior development series uh, page where you can um, apply for that exemption. I um, I actually uh, I do apologize. Um, that will be added. Um, will be added to um, to our website. We're going to work. We're working on that right now. Um, if a child does age out of or skills up uh, with the membership, that does. Uh, you do not have to buy a brand new membership. You just pay that difference in the balance. Say going from the junior development series to uh, the junior player series, which is a fifty dollar difference. There's also the opportunity to play, uh, compete in drive, chip, and putt. We host qualifiers all over uh, the all over the state of Colorado uh, throughout the golf season. Uh, registration actually just opened up for that, uh, I believe, yesterday. So, if your child is interested in trying to uh, compete in drive, chip, and putt, which is a free event, uh, and then move their way through the qualifiers for a chance to compete at Augusta National the weekend prior to the Masters. That is an option for them as well, and a really, really fun event and a fun environment to be around. Another program uh, that's become very popular over the last couple of years has been PGA Junior League in 13U. This provides a team environment for the kids to play in instead of competing on an um, individual basis. Um, this is hosted by numerous courses all over our, our section and kids either have the opportunity to compete in an in-house league maybe it's a course with lots of junior golfers so they have all of the teams are based just out of that one golf course or some uh, courses that have smaller junior programs or decide to run a smaller junior league program will then travel around to some of the other local courses get to meet uh, get to meet kids they've never played with or met before um, and see different courses which is a really cool opportunity Gotcha. So um, this is actually something I did want to mention before I head on to the next slide. A recording of, uh, of this will be, uh, be available. We're recording this right now, um, and it will be posted up on our website in case anyone knows someone who miss, uh, missed this webinar today or maybe just wants to go back and recheck some of the sections that are applicable to your family. Um, so we will have re more resources available um, following this webinar. So people can stay up to date with what's kind of going on at the Colorado PGA uh, and, and things and how they're evolving so far. So the next section, once we get halfway down the hole, is the approach. So this is where the Junior Players Series comes into play. Our, uh, these events are geared, are, are all 18 holes. Uh, players 10 and under, and apply for an, uh, an exemption. They are not guaranteed to get in, but if, if there is enough, uh, at, if they have letter of recommendation and a little, uh, small playing resume, uh, we'll be able to take a, uh, take a look at that. Um, caddies will not be allowed in the Junior Player Series. Uh, and my apologies, I, uh, I needed to mention on the previous slide, uh, for all the junior development for the junior development series events, caddies are allowed to help move players along, introduce them to the game. Now they can't make every decision for the player, but they can help. Uh, a caddy can really uh, help create a phenomenal experience for that junior golfer that day. Um, once you get to the player series, there are no caddies. Um, players have to make decisions on their own, walk or push their ba uh, carry their bag or, or use a push cart. Um, and transport all of their equipment for the day. Of course, if, if you need to hand off, if it's a hot day, you need to hand off uh, some sunscreen or a water bottle, that's more than, uh, more than welcome. We want the kids to be uh, happy and healthy when they're out there on the golf course. Uh, when players get to the Junior Player Series, the courses will be lengthened relative to the Junior Development Series. So um, the 11th, there, 
the 11 through 13 year old uh, girls will play approximately 5,200 yards. The 11 to 13 boys will play approximately 5,800 yards. The 14 to 18 girls will play approximately 5,800 yards for their course. And the 14 to 18 boys will play uh, approximately 6,500 yards. So those courses are lengthened and are stretched out a bit compared to the developmental series, but they're, but they're not long enough where they're gonna be um, kind of punishing or unfair. We still want the juniors to have a good experience, gain some com uh, competitive experience and, and say they had fun playing out on the golf course today. The Junior Player Series has a stroke limit as well, but it's a bit higher than the Junior Development Series. Uh, the stroke limit for the uh, for the Player Series is 10. This is a little bit higher, but the, the concept is still the same. We don't want players just slogging away on a hole, uh, playing by PGA Tour rules. They're not ready for that yet, and that's perfectly okay. This is de designed to be that intermediate uh, step as kids start to take golf more seriously and are able to build on the skill and build on the skills that they learned as younger golfers playing nine holes and try to work towards that next level of competition. Um, another opportunity uh, for kids in this skill uh, kind of in this part of their golfing journey is PGA Junior League 17 U. Similar to the younger version of PGA Junior League. It's team-based, there's a national championship. Um, they'll have opportunities to play and compete, which can be really fun considering how challenging uh, playing stroke play events on your own is. Playing in a team event can be a really nice change of pace, uh, which is why 17U is becoming more and more popular uh, as the years go on. Um, I'm happy to say that we now have uh, significantly more 17 U teams in the uh, Colorado section than we did a few years ago. Once players are ready to progress beyond uh, the junior player series, their skills their skills have increased and they're ready to take the next step. Um, they've reached the green. Now the green in our pathway is our junior cup series. Uh, this is probably where one of the places, actually not probably, is one of the places where uh, we've received the most questions and we've had um, lots of change over the last couple of years. Um, the Junior Cup Series is primarily for 14 to 18 year olds. Uh, juniors 11 through 13 years old can try to qualify for the series. But it's important to know that any junior 11 to 13 who tries to qualify will have to play the same yardages as the high school age kids. So that's just something to keep in mind if your uh, middle schooler is planning on uh, trying to qualify for the uh, Cup Series in 2023 or beyond. All of the events for the Cup Series are 36 or 54 holes. Because of this, it is a, a little bit more of a commitment, but it's closer to what players will experience when they play in national tournaments, as well as if they decide to move on to the next level and play collegiate golf. Um, all, all of our events that do um, meet the criteria uh, will be submitted for AJGA Performance Stars, as well as submitted to Junior Golf Scoreboard. Uh, and I'm really excited to say that this year, um, our 54 hole events will be submitted to uh, the world, to the um, Royal and Ancient for World Amateur Golf Ranking points, um, which is another another way to really bolster a resume uh, as a player is trying to um, get to that next level and, and play collegiately. The Cup Series is open by invitation only. Uh, so what the way that's structured is prior to the season starting, uh, we'll, we've invited um, a group of juniors who, who have already become exempt for the 2023 season. This is similar to how um, professional tours will do it. We took this actually from after uh, speaking with other PGA sections and golf associations around the country. 
uh, and they found that this was the best way to create a high level of competition locally while keeping competitive golf costs down rel um, compared to traveling around the nation or region uh, to play. There will be, throughout the year, there will be qualifying opportunities to gain full membership onto the Cup Series. So if you have not, if your child has not received an invitation already to the Cup Series, that is not a problem. It doesn't mean they won't be playing. They won't be playing the Cup Series necessarily this year. Uh, in the spring, we'll be holding a 36-hole Q School. Uh, that will that Q School will be to earn a membership uh, for the 2023 season. Then we'll also be hosting a 36-hole Q School in the fall. Uh, which will be uh, to earn a membership for the following season. So in this case, if they qualify in the fall of 2023, they would earn a membership for the 2024 season. Throughout the year, we're also going to be hosting Monday qualifier opportunities. So these are events where uh, junior golfers uh, who have a Players Series membership can play in... Um, they can play in a single day qualifier to qualify for the uh, a specific cup event. Um, each qualifier will be connected to a cup, each one of those single day qualifiers will be connected to a cup event in the same way that Monday qualifiers are uh, with professional golf tournaments uh, for men and women. This will allow kids who, are who have started to really play well in the junior players series to try to take that next step uh, and play against the a higher level of competition. Uh, so, a question or yeah, questions we've been receiving lately uh, regarding the Cup Series have been about the invitation criteria. Um, we decided uh, we decided that uh, we would look at the past results of golfers playing within uh, our section boundaries as well as a couple of national rankings. So we looked at um, the rankings for the um, top series last year that the Colorado PGA was hosting. Uh, because of the transition over the last about 15 months in junior golf throughout the state, and since memberships were limited last year, uh, we did decide to look at the 2021 uh, JGAC rankings as well to make sure that we weren't passing over worthy golfers who just weren't able to sign up for a membership on time. Uh, we also looked at uh, how players finished in the uh, state high school uh, golf championships, how they finished in junior golf scoreboard rankings, as well as how they ranked uh, in the AJGA rankings. So we looked at that way we could do the best job possible if for golfers who played and participated outside of our section boundaries and played well in some of those regional and national events, we would take into consideration those events, try to put together the, the strongest, most competitive fields we could while focusing on junior golfers that live within our section boundaries. Once a player graduates from high school and starts their journey on either in college or somewhere else playing as an adult golfer, something we're adding to our schedule this year in 2023 is an amateur tour. So these will be single day, 18 hole events. Um, all events are open to uh, golfers 18 and older. So this is for adults specifically. Um, and the concept behind this is to still provide competitive opportunities uh, and uh, also try to get players on to courses that they might not normally be able to play during either a junior tournament or if they're just out playing around like so many of us do, just playing around uh, at public facilities in our area. Um, these are events that the schedule for the AM tour is still being uh, put together. But I'm really excited to say we have some phenomenal private facilities who are already on board uh, for the 2023 season. Um, and this is a cool opportunity for golfers, whether they're 19, 18 or 19 years old playing college golf and they want to play a few events during the summer at some fantastic golf courses, or golfers in their 20s, 30s, and beyond who want to be competitive. 
Uh, there will be different T lengths for men and women as well, um, as well as senior divisions to allow people of different ages to compete. Um, and this is a really kind of neat addition um, to what the Colorado PGA has to offer. Uh, now, by starting at the T and going all the way beyond the green, we're now able to help uh, facilitate golf opportunities for golfers ages six until they decide that they can no longer play the game. Um, that's a really cool thing for me to say as a uh, career golf professional and uh, PGA member to say that the section that I'm a member of and that I work at is able to provide these phenomenal opportunities for everybody uh, to get as many people involved in the game as possible um, and really spread what I believe is a phenomenal um, game, both in terms of entertainment, competition, and education um, to a larger, broader audience. So our, for junior golf, um, our schedule will be released in February. We're just ironing out uh, a few last courses and things like that. Um, that's been a really big question that we've been receiving lately, fairly so. Uh, membership uh, applications open have uh, been open for just over a week. Our schedule will be coming out here in February, so now just uh, a couple weeks from now. First tournaments will be held in mid-April um, for junior golf, uh, and then the season will run into mid to late October. Uh, I'm very excited to looking, kind of taking some feedback in from families around the section, looking at our schedule this year that we'll be able to host some events that were really popular in the past, including parent-child events, team events, uh, the 10U Championship, uh, Player Series Ryder Cup, and four majors in 2023 for the Cup Series. Uh, we have some phenomenal, uh, we have some phenomenal courses lined up um, that also want to commit themselves be, uh, to the Colorado PGA and junior golf in general beyond 2023, uh, which is really exciting because. Um, as many of us know, as golfers, finding tee times has been a bit challenging this the last few years, and um, courses are busier than ever, which is a great thing for golf. Uh, it does make scheduling tournaments a, a little challenging, so I've been uh, really pleased to see the participation um, from our from courses in the region and some of the courses that have really stepped up and raised their hand and said we want to be hosting junior golf tournaments. Our purpose here at the Colorado PGA um, is really it's kind of threefold. It's to provide learning and playing opportunities for all golfers that fall within the boundaries of the Colorado PGA section. Uh, it's to better support our Colorado PGA professionals, as well as to create a singular resource for parents to navigate the world of junior golf. Junior golf is a complex world, and very rarely are there singular resources that you can rely on uh, to find reliable information about um, running events to play in. How do I create a schedule? Um, once I've signed up, where do I where do I go? There, there's a lot out there. Um, so our website, which is uh, which is new for 2023, is not done. It is it is online. I need to make that very clear. It's online, you can sign up for the junior tours, but as we keep going and as we keep building, we're gonna add more and more resources for families and players to be able to find educational and uh, golfing opportunities uh, throughout our section. So uh, please consider that a, a resource to use for you and your family. Uh, if there ever is something that you aren't totally sure on, um, or you're looking for playing opportunities if one of our tournaments fills up, but you really want to compete that week or in that month, uh, please reach out. We're happy to answer any questions and uh, provide you with the information that you need to navigate the world of junior golf um, because it, it sure is complex. Um, if you have a, a private coach who can help with that, that's fantastic, but obviously that um, that isn't available to everybody. So we want to be for our members and anyone who resides within our section boundaries. Uh, we want to be here for you. We want to be that resource. Uh, we want to be who you think of uh, 
when you think of junior golf in uh, Colorado, Wyoming, and South Dakota. Um, thank you very much for being here today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we'll get to some questions here now. Uh, if you feel uh, feel like reaching out and asking a question, maybe after today, you uh, think of a question. I know I do that all the time. 30 minutes later, I think of something. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, this email address, copga junior golf at pgahq.com, is the best place to reach out to us via email to ask junior golf related questions. And our office line is down here below. Now that we have a larger junior golf team, whoever is the appropriate person uh, to get back to you, uh, we'll, we'll reach out and try to answer and, and help you in any way that they possibly can. Alrighty, let's start to take a peek at some questions. Peter, we have quite a few unanswered questions. I'd be happy to run down the list with you if you'd like. Awesome. Yeah, I just switched over to uh, um, I, I just switched over to the Q and A, um, and I was just going to go down the list if that works. Oh, thank you very much for clicking that some were um, answered, unanswered. Cool. Okay, so um, no, a membership is needed to play in our events now. The uh, so last year, uh, because um, sorry, memberships were limited. There, uh, we allowed non-members to play in events if they did not fill up. Uh, but with a larger, a much larger staff and a capacity to run host more juniors, uh, we we now are requiring a membership. Uh, to play in uh, a junior golf tournament. And I believe that question was about the junior development series. Uh, that membership cost is $100 for the entire season. Uh, that get, gets you uh, of junior access to signing up for tournaments. Uh, they get um, a membership uh, gift as well as uh, the ability to attend uh, any future education uh, events that we do host, which is something that uh, we're discussing as a department currently. Oh, okay, that's a great question. Um, next question is, can a new player choose to start in the player series or are they required to start in the development series? So if a golfer is, uh, if a junior is new to the game of golf, we highly, but they're in uh, 11 or older, we highly recommend um, and just about uh, almost almost require you to start in the developmental series. The reason we do this is because the courses are shorter. It's easy. Um, it's an easier kind of entry point into the game of golf, and they're going to learn a lot of kind of do's and don'ts around the golf course while sharpening their game at the same time. If a player who's 11 or older. Um, does really enjoy the game, being at the golf course, playing and practicing, I expect they wouldn't be in the junior development series all that long and they'd be able to quickly progress into the player series. Uh, but playing 18 holes is a long time and it's a pretty big commitment. So uh, it's something that's important in junior sports in general is that we don't overwhelm the, the, the junior or anyone who's new to golf, frankly. Um, we don't overwhelm the, uh, the new golfer um, by having them play 18 holes. It's best to start kind of start small, really enjoy it, grow the passion, and then move on to uh, the player series. All right. Um, let's see. So as I understand it, a golfer that has not been invited to the Cup Series will need to sign up for the Junior Player Series and qualify for an invitation per tournament. Um, yes, yeah, so as someone who has not been invited to the Cup Series but aspires to play at that level of competition, um, they, they need to sign up for a uh, Player Series membership, which then allows them, uh, allows them to play in the uh, qualifiers to gain membership. So you can do the individual qualifiers for individual events, 
uh, or they can, what uh, we recommend is they play in the 36 hole Q schools to gain full membership. Alrighty. Um, Sam, do you want to answer this question uh, regarding the spring Q school event? Yeah, um, for the uh, spring Q school, um, we have been taking it into consideration. You know, we know the girls are in high school season, so all of our events during the spring and on the weekends. Um, so that is going to be taking place early May on a weekend. Um, I don't believe there's any conflicts with uh, high school schedules for. Um, at least with high school tournaments taking place on those weekends. Um, but we're also uh, very much watching the Chassa schedule as well um, when it comes to the state championships and avoiding any conflicts there. Gator, you're muted. Around other events, whether they'd be hosted by the um, Colorado Golf Association or other junior golf associations, uh, we all try to work together because it's in junior golf and the family's best interest for, for events to not conflict. Um, thanks for answering that, Sam. Okay, so uh, this next question is about the high school rankings. Uh, we don't look at like team we don't look at if i'm understanding this correctly we don't look at team rankings uh what we look at is uh players individual finishes in the state championships uh so we looked at for boys and girls 3a 4a and 5a and took top individual finishers uh from those championships and, and and extended invitations uh, to those players. Um, I know we've touched on this already, but I think I, I want to stand on the top of a mountain. I think all of us and our staff do and say, say this so everyone knows, memberships are not limited this year. Um, that, was, uh, that was just for 2022 and the circumstances that the section uh, went through. Uh, we, a big reason that we grew our staff this year was to provide more playing uh, opportunities for junior golfers uh, within the boundaries of our section or anyone who chooses from outside of the region to come play in our events. Uh, so there will not be limited memberships this year. So if someone decides they want to start playing in May, they can they can sign up whenever they'd like. Um, Sam, do you want to get this one on field limits? Uh, yeah, uh, so the field limits for our Cup Series, um, those are going to be limited at 90 players. Um, when it comes to the qualifiers, the Q schools, um, those field sizes for the Q schools are going to be 120. When it awesome. Gotcha. You know what? Um... I'm going to say the, this next question is uh, asking about our point system, and um, I'm going to share my thoughts. And Sam, I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are as well. Um, asking about the optimal number of tournaments to play in, uh, that kind of, it, it sort of depends. Uh, the reason I say that is because the better a, a junior golfer plays or a competitor plays, the more points they'll be awarded. Um, so what we've seen or at least I've seen in my experience with junior golf is sometimes people don't compete in that many events, but they play really well. And they're, so they're able to play in fewer, say Colorado PGA or, or another organization and diversify their tournament schedule a little bit. Um, but Sam, you've been with the section now for a few years. I'd be curious to hear kind of your thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, for the uh, point systems, I kind of agree with you there, Peter. Um, it's going to be kind of dependent on, you know, how many events fit within your schedule. Um, but those kids that are finishing up higher in those tournaments are going to be uh, earning more points and have the uh, 
option to play unless you that's uh, if that's what they so choose. Even those that are playing in a lot of events, you know, just keep playing. The more you play, the more points you'll end up earning in the long run. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, someone asked about a point system for the Junior Development Series. Um, so we are not, uh, we're going to no longer for that age group, so the Junior Development Series, that entry level of competition, um, have a point system. Um, there will be a, there will be a 10U uh, championship, um, but there, the main requirement to receive an invitation to the, ten, or uh, sorry, not a 10U, I apologize, a Junior Development Series Championship, I, I misspoke. Um, the, uh, the, the, to the Junior Development Series Championship will be participation. Um, so players in that case who play more often uh, will have the opportunity to be, or will be invited. The minimum requirement is five events, So we're gonna invite the people who play the most. For that age group and really, um, it's not just age group, but that developmental group, the priority, um, yes, wanting to improve your skills and lower your scores is very important, um, but the priority is uh, learning the game, the rules of the game, the etiquette of the game, uh, what needs to be taken, what needs to take place in the course, how to go through scoring with a, uh, with a tournament official, things of that nature. Uh, and then once they, which this all meets, uh, works well with the um, American developmental model, which is what's used by, uh, it was really forged by USA Hockey, uh, but is used by athletic organizations all over the country to um, help gear their level of competition, uh, scoring, as well as um, uh, how challenge, the kind of challenge point uh, for each competition is. So uh, short answer, no, there will not be a, uh, there will be a season ending uh, championship, but there will not be a point series. Um, so playing in IMG Optimist and similar qualifiers. Gotcha. So Peter, just a quick note. Um, we do have some wireless callers that are unable to see the questions. So if you don't mind, just read them aloud before you answer them. That would help out tremendously. Sure thing. Yeah, my my apologies. I'll start reading those out. Um, Thanks. I'll start reading those out loud. Uh, thank you very much, Holly. I appreciate it. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> so. Um, the uh, Sam, you've handled uh, a lot of the qualifiers. Do you mind answering that question about the which level does my kid need to be in or uh, to play in in order to play in the IMG Optimist and similar qualifiers? Uh, yeah, um, for these qualifiers, uh, the Optimist qualifiers will be um, at least answering to the best of my ability the player series at a minimum uh, membership there. And then the um, IMG has different age breakdowns. So the 11 to 14 will be player series. And then um, Peter, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the 15 to 18, um, those qualifiers that are 36 holes for the cup level kids. Yep. That's what it shows on my, on, I just pulled the schedule up and that's what it's, uh, that's what it's showing for the 15 to 18. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you very much, Sam, for, for answering that. Um, we're just getting that, we're getting those things scheduled and working with uh, IMG as well as Optimist and making sure we get all the, uh, we've got the courses book, but contract sign and all that good stuff. Um, so here's, this is a great question regarding the junior development series. Um, what's the plan for the competitive golfers under 10? I know they can opt into the older players series, but that seems like a challenge. An eight-year-old playing against kids entering high school, for example, might not be ideal. Uh, JDS level three sounds like it's not quite right either. Thank you. Um, so that's a fantastic question. Uh, Eight-year-olds will not be competing against high school age kids who are getting into the game. We will have things broken down uh, within that age range into age groups. Um, the junior development series is open to six, six to 18-year-olds. 
but they're not all competing against each other. Um, what we what will happen is a um, an eight year old, for example, may be on the same kind of skill level as a, a 16 year old. Uh, so they may play from the same set of tees, but they will not be playing against each other. Uh, that way we can keep it fair because I agree there, even if the 16 year old is newer to golf, they're probably going to hit the ball a little further if they really catch one. So it wouldn't be quite fair. And that way we can foster a sense of competition among some of the younger uh, younger junior golfers uh, playing in level two and level three in particular. And they get to rise through the ranks with, uh, which at least personally was one of my favorite parts of junior golf. I uh, was kind of rising through the ranks with some of the kids and seeing everyone um, progress year over year. Um, Okay, this is a great um Sam, this is a cup series question. Do you mind answering? Yeah, so the question is when is the first cup series qualifying event and what day slash time does it open up to register for kids who are not invited into the that field? So the first Q school will take place in early May. And then all of our uh cup qualifiers after that will take place throughout the course of the week during the summer now those all of our events will open up four weeks prior just like last year instead of it being at noon it will be at nine o'clock and all of the events will open up on a monday awesome Fantastic. Cool. Well, see, there's still a couple questions incoming. Um, Peter, I'm going through and adding some questions into our unanswered category again. Just awesome. Feel free to hang out there. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, Ali. Um, Great. Uh, here's a question. Um, this newbie here. What is a Q school event? That's a great question. Um, Q school stands for qualifying school. Uh, it's a term taken from professional golf tours, and it just means an event where you can uh, try to qualify to earn uh, membership on a uh, golf tour. So it's used for a PGA tour, LPGA, uh, European uh, tour. I just, it's not the European tour anymore, but that's just dating myself a little bit. Uh, the DP World Tour. So um, competitive uh, tours around uh, around the world, both amateur and professional, um, use qualifying schools as a way to find eligible um, competitors for their events. Gotcha. Um, okay, here's another question. Will the Colorado PGA be working with outside tour companies uh, such as the Summit Junior Golf Tour, Under Armour Tour, coming into Colorado and so forth? Um, no, we will not be working di uh, directly with them in terms of like uh, co-running tournaments. Um, but um, as fellow junior golf organizations, we are uh, working to the best of our ability with them to coordinate schedules. Um, and also promote some of their events on our website. Um, I meant what I said earlier, uh, saying that we want, as the Colorado PGA, we want to be a singular resource for families trying to better understand the junior golf landscape within uh, Colorado, Eastern Wyoming, and Western South Dakota. Uh, so as, as we build out our website more, uh, we will have information on uh, the those Tours listed, as well as um, U.S. Kids, uh, Gold Crown, different playing opportunities. Try to find the best uh, kind of schedule, as well as opportunities for um, for children to learn and compete. Um, 
All right. Uh, there is not a uh, handicap requirement to play in uh, one of the the Q schools or qualifying school tournaments. Um, you d uh, do have to be a member of the player series. So if your child is trying to compete at a higher level, particularly um, either for a very skilled middle schooler or for high school golfers, the best route is to join the uh, Junior Players Series, uh, which will provide access to signing up to, for uh, different qualifying events. Um, no handicap is required. If you want to submit your handicap information, we can post your scores at the end of the tournament. Um, but we are not taking handicaps into consideration uh, for event registration. Oh, here's a um, great question. Uh, what is the Junior Golf Hub membership? So uh, Junior Golf Hub is a new partner of the Colorado PGAs for the 2023 season. Uh, it's a um, tournament managed organization, uh, like scheduling, tournament scheduling, uh, as well as college recruiting uh, service that does a, a fantastic job uh, kind of bringing together tournament schedules from around the country so families can organize, uh, kind of see all in one place. They have a similar mission to be one of those kind of singular resources. So they can bring together, uh, that way you can see tournaments all over the uh, country in case maybe you're traveling as a family and want to play an event in Southern California or another um, golf destination. Um, but they also help out as a recruiting service. So for kids who want to play golf in high school, they, or sorry, uh, in college, they can gain exposure, uh, create a profile that, uh, that will keep track of tournament scores, their handicap, their GPA, and allow students to, um, high school students, be in contact with college coaches. Um, and college coaches do use that. Um, I, uh, I, have like a student of mine from when I was uh, actually uh, teach, still teaching full time, uh, was able to get recruited to play in college through a connection he made on Junior Golf Hub. So I'm really excited to have them as a, a partner. Uh, all Cup Series members will receive uh, a annual uh, a membership for 2023 for free. Um, and then uh, Players Series members uh, who are interested in uh, potentially playing in college um, can also sign up and get an annual membership for $49. So uh, that's normally $129. So it's a great option and offering for our, um, our tour members. Um, so you can kind of get a feel for the college golf landscape and where, if you want to play in college, where your game may fit in throughout the country. Because there are lots of great programs in all, in all 50 states. And um, it's just about finding that right one for you. What date is, is used for the age cutoff? Okay, excellent. Um, Sam, if I remember, is it June 1st? I believe it is June 1st. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'm gonna, I'll check while we're still on. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yep, we'll, we'll circle back to that question here in a moment. Um, we, did, we did decide it's in our policies and procedures. We just need to double check that document. Um, and Peter, well, um, just since this was brought up earlier, that aging up application into the player series mm -hmm. um, is actually on the website. It's on the oh. junior player series uh, tab. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, I just I misspoke. Yeah, I realized. Uh, so the yeah, the application to age up for, uh, into the junior players series that is uh, available on the website. Uh, what we need to put on there and will be shortly is um, the a, a, an application to skip level one of the junior development series and just go straight to that. Um, that needs to be added. Thank you very much. I um, I misspoke there. Let's see. Oh, let's... And yes, it is uh, June 1st to determine the age um, for divisions um, for that cutoff. Gotcha. Um, uh, so here's another great question about scheduling. Uh, is there coordination with the CGA so that majors are not scheduled at the same time? Last year, the Aurora major conflicted with the CGA state tournament. And that's always nice to get a good thank you. Uh, we're excited for the season as well. 
Yes, we did coordinate with the CGA um, this season to make sure that um, players could play in um, their state championship and as well as our major uh, our major series as well. Um, it's been great working this year, working with the CGA as well as other organizations to make sure our largest events uh, don't conflict and we can all draw the uh, the strongest fields possible. Yeah, Peter, to add on to that, the, uh, I've also been in communication with uh, the events for AJGA and to make sure that those also don't conflict with our, our majors as well. And the awesome. uh, U.S. Girls Junior as well. Gotcha. Um, perfect. Yeah, we want all of our, our all the people who play in our events to have the opportunity to play the 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 strongest field, uh, or rather, sorry, the strongest event schedule that their uh, their skills and abilities uh, allow them to play in. Um, so the age groups for the junior development series, there's going to be a ten and under age group as well as a uh, that's just going to be boys and girls all together, which follows a uh, really similar model to other sports uh, when they're playing, um, such as basketball, when they're playing at that age. Um, and then uh, once kids become eleven, so you're more middle school, high school age kids, uh, there will be a boys eleven to eighteen division and a girls eleven to eighteen division. Um, because this is a more of an introductory step to competition for kids, it is, yes, the competing aspect. They're, it, keeping score is really important, um, but they're also going to be divided up based on um, the level, so the T length. Uh, so between the age groups and T lengths, um, there's going to be a separation so that, that you don't have to, no one has to worry that they're, um, say, like, 12 year old is competing who's in level one is competing against a level three 12 year old just because they're the same age doesn't mean they'll actually be competing against each other on the uh, same uh, scoreboard. And uh, okay, here's uh, one more one more question. If someone who does qualify, uh, if someone does qualify, um, are they allowed to play in another qualifying event and possibly take up another spot for the same tournament? Um, so a player can only um, take up one spot for a tournament. If they, if they play and try to qualify in an event or they're already into an event, um, they can't take up two spaces. So Peter Weissel can't take up two, two spaces in a PGA section event that one space would be given to another player who either qualified or was on a waiting list or, or, or was eligible in some other fashion. All right. So here's a quick uh, coming in if you want them. What's that? I have a few more coming in if you'd like them. Yeah, definitely. Happy to answer any questions. Um, so the um, this is a caddy question. So someone saying, um, if a, a hypothetical eight-year-old is in the players series, that eight-year-old can't have a caddy, correct? That is correct. So um, an eight-year-old, if they if they're playing in the players series, uh, which does not allow caddies, they they would not be able to have a caddy because they would have to fall under. For anyone who's playing up, they have to fall under the same um, set of rules and policies uh, that everybody else in the field has to follow. Oh, here's another uh, another good question. Uh, do we sign up for the players series on the COPGA website or through our local courses? That is the local sponsor of PGA Junior League and Players Series. So you do sign up through the Colorado PGA uh, Junior Golf website. So um, that that will be where you sign up for uh, any like your memberships and go through to sign up for our events. Uh, while a large number of courses do have PGA members uh, on their staffs, uh, they don't have the ability to uh, sign you up for events. There are um, 
programs with the PGA name and branding on them that are at your local course, such as PGA Golf Camps, PGA Junior League, those uh, can be signed up for. Uh, we're happy to provide any guidance uh, in that department as well, but those can be signed up for um, at your local course. Uh, if you don't have one or you're not sure ho who hosts those events, uh, feel free to reach out to our junior golf staff and we can look up the uh, closest host facilities uh, for PGA sanctioned programs and uh, find some contact info for you. Oh, great question. Uh, do kids also do PGA Junior League at the same time as the Developmental League? There will be some crossover. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised at some of the Junior Development Series uh, events to see kids with PGA Junior League jerseys and PGA Junior League hats. Um, PGA Junior League has a shorter season than we do, uh, but and I, some some families may decide to do both at the same time. Uh, or another option, if that's too busy for your uh, family's schedule, is to plan our events, uh, say, in the spring and fall, uh, and then do PGA Junior League during the summer. Um, so I, you can play both at the same time, but it's not a requirement. Uh, let's see. there are questions. An A. Um, gotcha. Um, okay, uh, Holly, one of the, in, in, um, a, Gotcha. So one last thing before we hop off, it looks like the flow of questions has slowed down a little bit um, and people, a few people have hopped off. Uh, so membership opened up uh, to the general public for sign up last week. If you Google, um, our website is juniorgolf.coloradopga.com, but if you just Google Colorado um, PGA Junior Golf, you'll get our, you'll get our website. The fastest way to get to uh, registration, like signing up for the tours, is if you go under the Junior Tour tab, and then if you go under the Junior Tour tab on our website, you'll see the different series, and each one has a button that says Apply for Membership. That will allow you to you start out with your email address, and that will allow you to then fill in all of your child and uh, child's information as well as family uh, family contact information and things of that nature uh, and choose the appropriate level of membership for your child and for your family. Um, do you have any Peter, questions? Yep. Uh, each one of the different levels of membership also have an apply for membership tab right up at the top when That's you right. click onto those pages. So. Mm -hmm. Just as another place for families to search if they're looking on where to to find to sign up for membership. Very good. Um, and the uh, the schedule, the schedules uh, for all the series um, of comp competition will be released um, will be released uh, next month. So it's only a couple weeks away. Uh, we we appreciate everybody's patience putting the schedule together. Um, it's been that I have to commend Sam and the rest of our junior golf team. Uh, Zach, as well as Davion uh, for working really hard and the rest of the section staff uh, for being helpful in terms of connecting us with uh, 
with golf courses and some of our PGA members for stepping up and volunteering their courses because um, putting together a schedule isn't easy and it takes a lot of time. So I want to thank everyone for the uh, their kind of the staff for the hard work as well as uh, the patience of all the families who who plan on competing this year. Um, you will be receiving we the second we have that put out are ready to go. Um, we will be sending emails out. Uh, you uh, when the email is when the schedule is released, you won't be able um, you won't be able to um, sign up for tournaments immediately. So don't worry about like instantly receiving the schedule and then signing up for the whole season's worth of events. Um, the seat the schedule will be released uh, prior to um, signups being open. So that way you can start to plan out the year figure out what works well for your family's schedule and budget and um, forward from there. Um, Pam, do you mind taking this one an unanswered question? Yeah. Um, so the question, are Cup Series invitations emailed to players or the parents? Um, so when those have been sent out, they have been sent out to uh, both the player and the parents. Um, we also included that third um, email to make sure um, everyone was notified from that family on who received the invitation there. Awesome. Um... Fantastic. Well, uh, thank you everybody very much for uh, for joining us this afternoon. Uh, if you know anybody who missed um, missed this webinar, uh, we there will be a couple more opportunities. Unless you want to speak with us directly and have some specific questions that you prefer to just chat one on one um, with our staff about, uh, we will be at the Colorado Golf Expo. We'll have. Um, staff members presenting each day uh, as well as booths set up so uh, we're happy to chat junior golf really all the time and uh, and answer any questions that you may have um, we're also going to be running another uh, webinar uh, this uh, later this winter that families can attend so if you know someone who did wasn't able to attend today uh, that will be on uh, March 7th at 5.30 in the evening. So if somebody's at work or was unable to sit in this afternoon, um, they'll be able to, uh, hopefully the evening works. Uh, we'll also be recording uh, these as well and putting them up on the website. So we wanna make sure we can answer every, any and all questions and make sure we have the, uh, we have kind of the most uh, educated, uh, educated families uh, that we could possibly can have so we, everyone can make the best decisions for them. Thank you very much, everybody.